everybody, it's Jessica, your art space teacher. I'm sure some of you remember me. I'm sorry I can't see your beautiful faces out there, but I know you can see mine. I'm sure you just got done watching Lydia's video on how to make handmade instruments to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. I'm sure that was a lot, was a lot of fun to watch and I'm sure you're excited to make some. I'm here to show you um, one other art project that you can do which is a metal tooling art project. Metal tooling is a really popular art form in Mexico. It's where they take a sheet of metal and they emboss it, which means they print an image on it. And that image can represent certain things found in the Mexican culture or certain traditions. It could either represent foods or animals, the environment around them. Today, I'm gonna to show you an easy way to do that. Um, it can be used as wall decor that you can put on your wall or you can give it as a gift. The materials that you're going to need today though is some aluminum foil, a pair of scissors, a drawing utensil. I have a sharpie, you can use a pencil, a pen, a marker, or a crayon. It's just to trace our rough draft. A ruler, some markers or coloring um, utensils that you have. It could be paint too or colored sharpies and you're also going to want some paper for the rough draft and some magazines or a cloth of any sort, a pillowcase or a t-shirt, a soft surface that we're going to lay our sheet metal on top of. That way when we draw out our outline, it presses down into the metal. All right. Well, let's get started. All right. First things first, we are going to be drawing a six by six inch square on our piece of paper. So let's take our ruler and our Sharpie or pencil, pen, whatever you have, and draw a six by six inch square, which means six inches on every side. You can make yours bigger if you like. I just think this is a good size to start off with. All right. And we're gonna do the same with our piece of aluminum foil. Again, a six by six inch square. Doesn't matter where you start on your paper or your foil as long as you are able to get a six by six inch square. I think I might have cut mine a little too low, but that's okay. Alright, next we're going to cut out our square. So your six by six, inch, six by 6 inch square on your paper is going to be what you draw your image on. And that's what you're going to lay over the aluminum foil when you start begin to emboss it. Alright, so we have our 6 inch six by six inch aluminum piece and our six by six inch square piece. Now it's time to draw our image on this piece of paper. It doesn't matter what uh, utensil you use, if it's a pencil, a pen, or a sharpie, it's just so that we have our rough draft for what we're gonna draw on the aluminum foil. All right, so now I have my image. I went ahead and drew a sombrero and some maracas. Now we are going to place this image on top of our aluminum foil and we are going to place this on top of our soft surface, whether that is magazines, some paper, or some cloth. I have a table runner here, so this is what I'm going to use. And you're gonna take your utensil of your choice. Like I said, it could be um, a pencil or a pen top. It could even be like a fork or a spoon for some small um, details that you may have. You do want to try and keep your image simple. Like I did, I didn't put too many details. You can put more details on it once you start coloring it in. But just for the embossing part of it, the stamping part of it, uh, we do want to keep our image as simple as we can. It just makes our lives a little easier, okay? So now we're going to trace the entire aluminum foil. So you'll take your tool and you press uh, with hard pressure around your image and trace every line, okay, until you got it completely finished. 
All right, so I finished um, tracing my image onto the aluminum foil. Let's remove it so we can see what it looks like. All right, as you can see, it has been pressed into the aluminum foil, so it has risen a little bit due to the help of the soft material that you have underneath it. Now it's time to color it. You can use markers or paint. Um, regular markers will work fine. You can use Sharpie, colored Sharpies if you like. Um, just be careful when you're using markers. You do want to let it dry a little bit so you don't smudge it, okay? So now let's get to coloring it. All right, once you get done coloring it, you can trace the outline of it with some black um, marker or a Sharpie or if you have paint, um, whatever your choice. You don't have to, but I think it really pops out the image. I think it turned out well. What do you guys think? I'm excited to see what y'all came up with. I did make two other ones as well. So I made my, my sombrero and my maracas, and then I also made... Um, a little cactus bush as well and some chili peppers and a cactus in the background too.